Hello everyone, back to tuning into the second Glastonbury Festival 2023 update from Gaz Weatherby. So here we go again, time to do update number two for the uh, Glastonbury Festival. We did our first update on Friday. Um, and thank you so much to all of you for checking out Friday's video, liking, sharing, subscribing to our channel. Unbelievable, thank you so much all of the lovely feedback that we got on Friday's first Glastonbury update. But it's like, time to do update number two for you now. I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that we're using the extended uh, GFS Global Forecast System uh, model for uh, this one. So uh, we're looking for trends at the moment. It's a little bit too far out to be able to pinpoint detail. We'll do that next week when we get into week two of our Glasso updates. But for the first few updates, we just try and find trend within model because of course we're talking about weather sort of a couple of weeks uh, away or like 10 days or so uh, to two weeks out. So it's a long way out it is subject to change please bear that in mind everybody that uh, we you know can't say 100 what weather we'll be doing for glassbury festival at this point but you know we're looking to try and find trend within the model and uh i'm going to get on with your um glassbury update now update number two so we're going to start on the 20th of june day before gates open and we're going to go right way through to sunday 25th the final, final day of the festival please like share subscribe thank you so much everybody for doing that and uh let's do this then so we're going to begin here on tuesday the 20th of june a lot of people will be heading down to glass to be ready for gates to open on wednesday 21st we find that we've got a thundery area of low pressure sitting across northern parts of france and into uh southern england there on tuesday the 20th the upper air temperature is looking very warm if not quite hot actually with that thundery low and there is heavy showers long as as rain, possibly thunderstorms moving up from France with that area of uh, low pressure as well. By the way, we're having a torrential uh, uh, storm here, so you might hear thunder in the background. If you can hear like rain and thunder noises, uh, that's where it's coming from. The doors and windows are, are open, you know, here at the towers. And uh, uh, yeah, so <laughs> you might hear, if you hear some rumbling in the background, that's thunder. Um, right, okay, so let's carry on. Uh, so yeah, we've got heavy showers, long spells, rain and thunder pushing up from the south there on the 20th of June, Tuesday the 20th, and the 10th temperature is looking uh, a little bit on the cool side actually despite those warm upper air temperatures we're only sort of mid to upper teens or low 20s so there's nothing much to get excited about it will feel quite warm because the upper air temperatures are warm so there will be not much humidity within the atmosphere and the reason those temperatures do look a little bit on the lowly side is because of the downpour so if the downpours don't occur then of course it will be uh, a lot warmer than that and quite humid right that takes us through to uh, Wednesday 21st of June so this is the day that gates open lots of people will be turning up at Glastonbury to uh, pitch up their tents and soak up the atmosphere I think on this day we're under a thundery trough of low pressure that trough has pushed up from France just sitting over the top of the country. Upper air temperatures are still looking uh, warm, but there's heavy showers, maybe thunder and longer spells of rain rotating around that area of low pressure. Again, don't take the rain areas too literally, it's too far away for that kind of uh, detail like 10 days away, but it is a suggestion that uh, under that uh, trough of low pressure, there will be showers along as well as rain, and the temperature is a little bit on the cool side, actually, again, despite warm upper air temperatures, the surface temperature is only sort of mid to upper teen Celsius, again, nothing much to get excited about there, just 15, 16, 17 degrees or so down towards the south. That takes us through to Thursday, the 22nd of June, again, an area of low pressure, trough of low is sitting over top of the country the upper air temperatures are still looking relatively warm they're not a problem the issue is with the air of low pressure there's further showers and or longer spells of rain under that uh low so the temperature because of the cloud and the fact that it, but there is rain with that air of low pressure the temperature is a little bit on the cool side again only sort of upper teens celsius at best it's a little bit warmer over in the east but in the glastonbury area we're just at like 15 to 17 something like that uh, right, okay, so this takes us through to Friday the 23rd of June. This is like day one of the, of the main part of the festival when uh, all the big acts start um, performing on Pyramid Stage and whatnot. Um, so uh, Friday 23rd is looking quite unsettled. We've got an area of low pressure in the Atlantic and we're bringing up a showery southwesterly wind as well. Those upper air temperatures continue to look quite warm 
across most parts of the country. And there's further showers as well, if not so long as well. It's a little bit dry down in the south, actually. Um, but again, you know, too far away, that kind of detail. Just a trend that looking for, say, that we have got quite an, uh, quite an unsettled trend uh, that's emerging on this second update. Oh, well, I didn't show the temperature. So the temperature for Friday 23rd, again, sort of upper teens to low 20s Celsius. Nothing much to get excited about. But if the showers and spells of rain hold off, they probably won't feel too bad as the upper air temperatures are quite warm. That takes us through to Saturday the 24th of June, middle day of the main festival. Again, pushing up those very warm and or quite hot subby winds. The upper air temperatures again, they're looking very warm uh, again. And uh, notice on the continent it is actually getting hotter and that hotter air beginning to drift our way. So down across France, Spain, Portugal, some real heat is building now. I'm not sure we want that though for the Glastonbury Festival. Now we've got a drier day here showing up despite the fact that low pressure is still more or less in control of the pattern. Actually we have I've got a drier day for Saturday the 24th, but once more it's too far away for that kind of detail, uh, really. And because it's dry with more sunshine, temperatures have picked up a little bit as well. We're sort of into the low 20s Celsius. And then finally we get through to Sunday the 25th of June, final day of the 2023 Glastonbury Festival. Hotter air is pushing up from the south. We've got another thundery low being generated by that heat over the Bay of Biscay and France. The upper air temperatures are getting hotter. We've got the plus 15 cells ice from indoor parts of France. That is proper hot air beginning to come our way. Further showers, maybe thunder, beginning to drift northwards and introduce that hotter air from the south. And uh, the temperature, again, it's kind of nothing much to get that excited about. Um, to be honest, actually, there we go, about to just change it over. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hotter in the east of the southeast, 27, 28, 29, probably around 30 degrees in reality. Out towards Glastonbury, because there's more cloud and those showery bursts, temperatures are pegged back a bit. But it's certainly turning warmer as we go uh, through through uh, the Glastonbury uh, weekend, the main free day uh, from Friday to um Friday to Sunday, it's certainly turning warmer there, um, but it is a little bit unsettled. And because update number one was quite unsettled, I think we've got to say that we have got a trend here within the GFS at the moment to be quite unsettled around the Glastonbury Festival period. Now, I won't be overly alarmed about this. It's still a long way up. There's still time for all of this to uh, change and for higher pressure become more influential. But as we've done two updates, they've both been quite unsettled. This one more unsettled than update number one, but they have both been a little bit on the uh, unsettled side. Um, with the showers and longer spells, right? I think I say that we have got a trend towards an unsettled Glastonbury Festival at the moment, but it is all subject to change. We're going to do the third update for you on Tuesday, and hopefully, I'll be keeping my fingers crossed, but uh, that one is a little bit better. We have more in the way of drier weather. Well, if you enjoyed this second update for the Glastonbury Festival, please thank you, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that, and we'll have another update for you on Tuesday. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.